Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I'm going to discuss how we can register our services to the Eureka server. So we'll discuss the service registry today. So coming to the IntelliJ, I already have created these services and I already showed you how internally these services can communicate and I have created this Eureka server application as well, which is up on port number 8761. Now, if you want to register this uh, book service library and the student service to the Eureka server, then we need to have one starter dependency in the services. So let me come to the browser. I'm going to the Spring Initializer. Okay, let me go back. Uh, let me start from here and show you. Come back. Uh, you can go to the Spring Starter in Spring Initializer website and uh, let me change it to the Maven. And there. Uh, here I'm going to add the dependency which is a Eureka uh, discovery client so this dependency I need so I'm going to explore this and let me copy this dependency from here and then add it to the my uh, existing services so this is the dependency that we need along with that we also need this uh, dependency management as well as the version of uh, this Eureka client so let me go to the uh, book service and let me go to the pom.xml let me go downside let me go to the dependency and let me paste it here okay and uh, let me go there to the spring starter let me come here let me copy this dependency management and uh, let me paste there to the pom.xml file so going to the book service okay going back uh, coming outside of dependencies and then pasting it here and let me also include the other dependency which is the version of uh, this one so where is the properties so i need to include the spring cloud version so let me copy this also and then include it in our project so come to the book service now and then uh, go to the properties and just keep it there and now what you need to do you need to refresh this and then see how it is behaving so let me yeah it is working fine let me rerun this application and then show you uh, how it is uh, working so before going to uh, rerun this application let me try to include the same dependency to the other services as well so let me copy this so i already have copied the version cloud version let me go to the library service go to the pom.xml and uh, coming to the properties let me paste this and let me go to the browser let me copy the spring netflix eureka client and uh, let me copy this and come to the pom.xml file of library and come under the dependency and then try to paste this and similarly i need to copy the dependency management so coming to the dependency management let me copy this whole thing okay let me try to copy this and come to the library service come downside of dependencies and paste it and refresh this similar way we need to do it for the student service come to the student pom.xml file come downside I already copied the dependency management so I'm pasting it directly here coming to the Eureka client and the version we need to include for the student service so let me copy this let me copy this and then come to the student service come on under the dependencies and put it here and go to the browser now let me copy the version of spring cloud and come to the student service go under the properties and just paste it out and just uh, refresh the maven now uh, with this what we are able to do we are able to uh, register uh, we will be able to register the services to the eureka client but one configuration we need to do so coming to the application dot properties file i'm going to make the name of applica this application so let's say it's a spring dot application name i am naming it like uh, what is the name of this service let's say it is a student service 
okay so i am naming it like a student service and there is a eureka instance host name which should be the local host and uh, anything else uh, let me check to the configuration i don't think anything else we need and uh, yeah and the okay so this is the thing that i need to configure similarly for the other uh, services like library and uh, uh, for the for the book service also we need to do so coming to the library service i'm going to directly copy this and go to the application properties file and come downside and then uh, do it so let me change the name to the eureka sorry to the library service and coming to the book service okay let me go to the application yml file let me so it is a spring application name so let me go there application name and let me name this what is the name it's a book service and uh, the other dependency that we other configuration that we need to do is eureka eureka instance host name and which is local host so all thing are configured now we included the dependency we did some configuration and now let me run each application one by one so book is up let me run the applic uh, library and uh, let me try to run the student as well and then once uh, they are up so coming uh, let me show you eureka service is already up and let me come here to the eureka page and let me show you that no instances uh, here you can see application no instance application is available but once all those application are up so we will be able to see that they are all automatically get registered to the eureka server so let it up so this application is up on 9091 this is up on 9092 and this is up on 9093 so come to the page of eureka and let me refresh it so here you can see these three services are registered here and these are the status of these three services so coming to the ppt i already showed you that how uh, this regi service register is done so you can see these services are registered there to the eureka server and there is a name of those services so with the name of these services we can call them directly in one uh, one service into the another service so coming to the eureka server you can see all the services are up this is the status these are the port number these are the name of the services and uh, these are the instance uh, one instance is available for each of the services so this is about the eureka server registry if you like the video helpful please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel in the next video i'm going to cover how we can develop the api gateway